All right, let's do this review before this quiz. So reminder, type one error is uh, when the null is true. Okay, the null is really true. All right, so the data is there, but we rejected it and we should not have. So another way of thinking of this, researchers, researchers think they have discovered something and they have not. Uh, researchers think that you have the disease, they detected that you have something and you actually do not. All right, now the type two error and power. So this has to happen when the data is actually located there in HA. So the HA is true, HO is false. So something is happening. There is an effect, There you do have the disease, there is a significant difference in something. Um, there, it is highly toxic, the medication or whatever is highly toxic. All right, but we did not detect that it was. That's this beta, your probability of a type two error. We did not detect it. You have the disease, but it wasn't detected. We failed to detect that there was a difference. Okay, but the last thing, power. Power is this area here. Power is a good thing. Power is making a correct decision. Power is detecting that you have a disease if you actually do. Power is detecting that there is an effect if there actually is one. Power is detecting that you are, um, that there is uh, something happening when it truly is happening. So detecting something going on when it actually is. All right, so uh, remember our mechanisms of change and how these things are affected. So here was this piece right here, um, increasing power. So you might wanna remember how to draw these. You got your alpha type one, beta type two, in effects standard deviation and HO HA is farther away, bigger distance. These are ways to increase power. So if sample size goes up or if alpha goes up, you are increasing power. Decreasing power here is this one. So you have the same circles, but the arrow on the left is down. So if alpha goes down or your sample size goes down, then that's what you're happening you're decreasing power. Also that HA is closer to HO, so you don't have um, incredibly crazy data. So it's harder to detect that there is an effect if there really, really is one, because the data is fairly close to the HO. All right, I wanted to kind of glance at some of these multiple choices since your quiz is all multiple choices, all multiple choice. Remember power is this, definition essentially, the probability of detecting that effect if there is, really is one that exists. Um, here we had our null and our alternative and wanted to know power. So that's detecting that HA if there really is, I mean, when HA is true. So detecting that the new program works better because it actually does work better. So that's here. So power is detecting HA because HA is true. All right, here was a change. Uh, actually, so they wanted to know when is power the greatest? So take a look at this picture here. One thing that is not on it that I wanted to have on here was that situation with HO and HA. Okay, so remember that's the effect size. And on higher power, it's because HA is farther away. That increases your ability to detect HA. So that's what's happening here. We wanted alpha the biggest in the biggest. So that left us down here to choices A and B. Those had the largest alpha and the largest sample size. And then the difference between A and B is that effect size. So the null hypothesis was that 8% of the whatever is going on. Here's HA and actually 16% of the da 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 whatever it's talking about versus 14% of the whatever. So this is demonstrating HA being further away in part 
A. Okay, so all that's rhyming. All right, here, um, what is a type 1 error? Okay, type 1 error might help you to think of what the null and alternative is. So, of course, the null is nothing happening, the new and the old are the same, and the alternative is yes, the new is better. So, remember, power would be detecting the new is better if it really is. Type 1 error, uh, if the null is um, not true, I mean, the wait, sorry. If the null is really true, but we get a sample that makes us reject it. Hey girl, I shouldn't have rejected you. I must have committed a type one error. So that is the, the scientists conclude that the mouthwash is more effective when it really wasn't. Okay, hey girl, I should not have rejected you, but I did. Okay. Here was another one about changing of items, which one would result in a decrease of probability of type two error. So I wanna think of beta being lower. So the way to get beta to go lower was to increase alpha, which that's the significance level. Standard error is not that. Significance level is your alpha or then they didn't have that as a choice, but they had N being greater, that was a choice. And here, power plus beta is 100% of the data. And finally here, you need to keep up your understanding of p-value definition. P-value is the probability. So that's what I have of all possible, uh, there's a this percent, okay, this percent chance of getting these sample results. And these sample results were 67% or more extreme. And it's because it wanted to know if more than 67% of adults. So that was more extreme is going upper tail. If the null is true. This if the null is true was actually stated in the problem. All right, and so then um, FYI, I just wanted to point out to you that on this problem here, I wanted to remind you when you're talking about advantages or disadvantages and such, an advantage is if a type of error goes down because having an error decrease is good, having a probability of an error increase is bad, and then power, we want power. So if power goes down, that's a disadvantage. If power goes up, then it's an advantage. Okay, moving on. So here was the same thing, which I have a different video that goes through all of this very in depth, but I wanna just go through carefully the multiple choices. Here we go. So this was about the bifocals, null hypothesis. Bifocals were not impactful, alternative, Bifocals were making an impact. Okay, so power, detecting an effect if there really is one. So detecting the bifocals are effective if they really are effective. So that just kind of get that, cut that to the, to the uh, nitty gritty of it is better detect an effect if there really is one. So that's what says here. Detecting the bifocals work better when they actually do, detecting an effect if there really is one. Okay, on this one, make sure you know I had had you take out this. Uh, they were wanting to see if it reduced the mean amount of bacteria. And there were three parts per million. The researchers found an average of three parts per million. So that's the sample results they received. So p-value of 0.082. P-value is the probability, so there's 8.2% chance of getting these sample results of three parts per million or more extreme. Well, they are wanting to reduce the average. So that means they want three or less. That is not this word at least. This is at most three parts per million, okay? And then they both, D and E said if the null is true, so that's good. 
All right, and here's our number four. This one is the statement about the, okay. So here's the deal. When this problem says, it says, consider the results of the test. That means these are the sample results that they received. Their sample results gave them evidence to reject the null. So think about which one of the errors gives you evidence to reject the null if it is indeed true. Okay, so we want to reject the null. Uh, if it isn't, if you reject the null, okay, then that could happen here with a type one error if you rejected the null, but you should not have. Okay, so their evidence led them to reject the null, so that would have been an error if they were not supposed to have rejected it. Our sample made us think there is an effect, but there really is not one. That's a type one error. And then the last one here is, okay, so here we were seeing if this math madness program is effective. So null hypothesis not effective, it still just has a passing rate of the same as the other 50%. Um, students who complete the mathematics, okay, if it's working, then the passing rate is significantly higher. So we want a type two error, okay. So think about your picture. Type two error means, type two error means that we have an effect. So the math program is working and giving us higher results, but we did not detect it. We said, oh, it's still the same as it was. Okay, so we want to find the answer choice that says, it was actually better, but we did not detect that it was. And so here's this. C, the Math Madness Program does not give us evidence that the meeting standards rate. Oh, we want type 2 error, yes. So it is actually better, but we stayed. Yeah, that's what I said. It is actually better. So it is actually AJ. So HA, let me go down here. It is actually HA, but we stayed with the null hypothesis and we should not have. Okay, so here we go. So our evidence did not allow us to go with, I think, a greater rate of 0.5. The evidence does not provide convincing evidence of greater than 0.5. So we did not detect greater than 0.5, but the actual minimum standard is greater than 0.5. So we stayed with HO when HA is true. So man, you're going to have to just get in your brain and really think through those and make yourself notes of what's going on. I highly recommend that you take a look at and you think about what the answer is and think about what it's saying before you go and read the answer choices. Okay, think about what the answer is to the definition of what it's saying before you go and read the answer choices. All right, so good luck on that. Um, unit 7b quiz number one on errors, powers, and the mechanisms of change.